Hello everybody, this is Computer Power Guide and today I'm going to be showing you how to add textures to your text in Adobe Photoshop. What I mean by textures is, as you can see over here on this metal text I did, basically adding a picture or some type of, yeah, a picture or an image over your text to give it a nice look. It's not really a font or anything, it's just like um, it replaces the color and it makes it look way cooler. You can actually add, well, that's basically textures, I can't find any other word for it. Um, that's basically adding textures over your text. I'm going to show you some other ones I did. Uh, this is fire, this one's water, and this one over here is, this one over here is smoke, even though I, I don't think you can tell that much. It's smoke, and then this one's emerald, so this one's kind of bad. Anyways, Today I'm going to show you how you can add textures to your text. It's really easy. First you're going to go to File, New. I'm just, I'm just going to do Fire um, today because Fire looks really cool. Uh, anyways, make it width 550, height 300 pixels each. Uh, you can leave the rest as it is. Now we have this canvas over here. Now, since fire has very hot colors in it, we're going to want to make the colors stand out a lot. So what we can do, we're going to fill the background with a color black. Go to Edit, Fill, and Use Black. Click OK. Now we have a black background. Now what we're going to do, just add some text over your canvas. I'm just going to write fire, as always. And then you can use your move tool right here to move it to the center. Now we have our text. I'm just going to make it really big, uh, 150 font size, and I'm going to use Arial Black because it's a very thick, very nice uh, font to use for what we're going to do today. Alright, now we have our text. Now we're going to want to add our texture. First, we're going to have to find our texture on the internet. Open up any internet browser and go to some image search. Uh, I'm going to use Google. You can also use Yahoo or whatever there is. I'm going to go to images and we're going to search for the texture. In this case, we're going to search for fire. There's lots of images out there. You're going to choose one that you really like and uh, I'm going to choose one that's going to really stand out uh, very, very nice for fire. And I'm going to choose this one right here. We're not going to worry about this uh, free photo watermark because we're not going to put that in our image. Anyways, you just have to right click it and copy it. That's good because you don't have to save it or anything. Just copy it, and then we're going to go to Edit, Paste. Alright, now, what we can do, we're going to move around this fire image that's, that just came on top of our canvas. We're going to move it around to our liking. Uh, you have, you're going to have to estimate where your text is. Um, and I'm going to choose a good part of the photo where my text will be covered with. Now what we can do, we're just going to go to Edit, Transform, Scale. We can kind of move it around to our liking, you know, squeeze it sort of, but I think I'm going to keep it the same. Make sure that uh, free photo watermark isn't in there. Uh, it's not going to be in there even if it's within the canvas because we're only going to cover our text with our image. Now, what we can do we, we're, we can press enter to confirm that then we can go to filter sharpen and sharpen more what this does this gives us a nicer effect and gives it a better look um, it's much better looks much cooler next step what we can do we will go, go to layers double click layers and right click on the layer where your fire is right click it and click create clipping mask. As you can see, now your now your text is covered with the image of fire. It looks really cool and um, if you're not happy with um, the image behind your text, you can just move it around with your move tool and then you know shape it to your liking. This was another tutorial by Computer Power Guide and thank you for watching.